Once I successfully purchase my council property, can I give it straight away on rent? Mortgage question number three. Um, I'm reading out these questions from the comments that I get underneath my videos. This one's under the right to buy video. Once I successfully purchase, so this is from Tech K9. Once I successfully purchase my council property, can I give it straight away on rent? I get this quite a lot, uh, especially under the videos, on the right to buy videos, right? And I've done a number of them, so go and check them out. First of all, I don't like it, right? It's not in the ethics of, you know, it's not how, what right to buy was meant for. Right to buy was meant for people that are living in um, council accommodation, that are striving to be homeowners themselves and are, you know, supported by the government to be able to buy their own properties. Okay, that's what it was there because they've been living there and they're going to continue living there. Hence, you know, they, they want the security of being their own homeowners and they're residential people. What it's become is can I just get the 100k discount or 70k discount and stick it on rent and I'm going to be somewhere else and that's what's become and I don't believe I don't I don't agree with it okay so uh, that's my own personal view of things now when we're talking about the rules it's different uh, I believe and I, I you know from my understanding the councils don't actually have a rule around renting okay so in theory for them as long as long as long as you're buying the property they're not too concerned about what you're doing and that's the i mean i i certainly i haven't bought a right to buy in my life so i don't know but that's the impression that i've got uh, but when it comes to the mortgage side of things it's a little bit different um, essentially there's only residential mortgages are available for right to buy purchases so you can't do a buy to let mortgage for a right to buy so that's the first thing <coughs> As part of a residential mortgage, you've got to understand that you're telling the lender that this is going to be my residential home. I am buying this property as a residential home, right? So if you're going to go and say, can I buy it and rent it? Well, that's not going to be your residential home. So you're breaking the spirit, I suppose, of, of declaration. So that's very important. Now, have we? is there a way around it? How, how, how it works, basically? is let's say that you did a right to buy and two years down the line or a year down the line your circumstances changed you might get married and you want to move in with some with your partner you might have got a job somewhere else in you know london to birmingham to somewhere else you've had to move and your circumstances has changed what you can do and if your existing lender will allow for this to happen is to go and get a consent to let letter or consent to let from your existing lender what that means is mr existing lender i am now my circumstances changed i did a right to buy i've done a residential i've been there for you know 12 months or so certainly over 12 months and then um and i want to i want to rent the property out because of my circumstances have changed will you allow for this to happen now, under those circumstances, there are a number of lenders that will give you permission to let that property until your fixed rate period runs out. Now, generally, if it's a right to buy, a lot of the people tend to opt for a five-year fix in, so they can run the five-year um, redemption penalty that they've got. Okay, So after the five-year redemption penalty, you can do what you want with it. Essentially, you can remortgage it, you can pay the mortgage back, you can sell the property, and you don't have to pay, pay an element of that um, property back. Uh, the, the the funds back so so you can get consent to let and after the consent to let maybe in five years time once the five years is run out you can do a buy to let remortgage and essentially remortgage that property so there is a path there is a way to do it uh, and you know and that's within within policy of the lenders but simply buying the property and going right i'm gonna stick on rent i'm gonna i'm gonna have a few good that's not the, in the spirit of what right to buy was for and that's certainly something that I don't like to see simply because um, that's you know it's not it's not it's not what it was there for and I deal with right to buys quite often and I deal with lots of people that are desperate to buy their properties because they want to live there and because they want to take pride in having that property for themselves rather than a quick buck so that's my view on renting right to buys and it, you know it does happen it's a lot of it's out there there's a lot of videos around that but that's the rules from a mortgage perspective 
I hope you found it uh, useful. Like and subscribe as always and I'll catch you on the next one. The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.